Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're out of Inglorious today. We're going to do some crab pots. We're literally doing a bit of everything. So stay tuned. Hopefully we get some fish and crabs. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! We're going big lures today. Hopefully we can catch some big basils. Big bass. Big basil bass. All right, so Ian Glorious has got to go do his pot, so hopefully he gets lucky there. Then later on, we're going to go dig some logworm and go shore fishing for gilt ebb bream, cooches, and uh, anything else we can get, really. It's boat fishing, shore fishing, crab fishing. Exactly what he just said. That's it. Let's go. <laughs> We're heading to the land of the lobsters. We're in a lot of tide at the moment. Dan's on the controls, I'm on the winch. Together we're gonna catch these lobsters. Hopefully. Fingers crossed, anyway. The other one's gone. Oh, Lobster. Big lobster. Lovely lobster. Look at that. Big buster. Solid as well. Oh, That's a nice one, that chap. We've got a small one there. Small brown crab. Here she comes. I like to see weed. I like to see lobster. Big wrasse. Big wrasse. Pop bait. Pop bait. Pop bait. Pop bait. There's the big lobster we had. That's a giant. That's a beauty. Big, big femur. A big wrasse for pop bait. Look at that. Nice Lovely size wrasse. Beauty. Nice one, mate. Uh, bait, we need to cut some bait up. Can we see in the crab pot soon, guys? Come on. Here she comes. crab in there. Hey everyone, first pot we've got brown crab. Stop with the brown crab, put the inside. Small lobster in this one. Small lobster. We've got loads of bait still in that one. Do you want to measure it just in case? Yeah, yeah, Looks we'll a bit that. small. That might be in that. I think it's going to be a bit small, but. Yeah. He's just under. Oh, just. Nice. Just under. Nice lobster, nevertheless. Just yeah. under. Lovely little lobster. Beautiful. Is that brown crab a keeper? Yeah, I think it will be. It's close. Oh, definitely. Yeah, he did. He yeah. did by about 10, 15 mil. Nice. Nice little brown crab, there's loads of bait in this one, chap. Yeah, same as in this one. Right, we're gonna get these out, get onto that third set. See all the crap coming out of it? All the sand, she was buried. You were right on the shingle there, mate. Watch out, watch out. I might have to let it. That's alright, I got it, I got it, I got yeah. it, I got it. I thought you were going to have to let it go then. I used to do quite well in there, I do crap in there. Loads of bait in it. Is it? Loads of bait. Mm. 
Zilk charge. Nothing. Not good. That is shocking. Right, come on. Oh, and it. Nothing in that one. Too much tide, I think. There's a keeper in this one, though. Is it? Yep. That's a keeper all day long, I reckon. Yes. Yeah, that's a keeper. Lovely job. All right, we're out of danger. Keeper number two. Lovely job, yeah, well done, yeah, mate. Yeah. Number two. Nice, there's loads of bait in these. Yep. <laughs> Lobster! Big one! Big one! That's another buster! Another buster! I like it! You beauty! I'll give you the honours there, chap! Look at that! That's a mean lobster! We got the busters popping out! Look at the size of that! Oh, my GoPro's just run out! It's another buster! Look well done, mate. That's a beauty. Yes, lovely solid as well, eh? Lovely, yeah, lovely male. Uh, female. Yeah. You beauty. Three lobsters down. Get some more. Daily limit on the next pull. Couple of little crabs. Yeah. A big smash pot. I made a giant crab pot for Inglorious a while back. Hopefully. Hopefully it's got the big lobsters, <laughs> mate. Hopefully. Good crab pot. It used to work really well. I don't know why it hasn't been working well lately. Oh, big, big, big juggernaut. Come on. Oh, we've just got a ras. That's terrible. Still pop, mate? Oh, yeah. You go, then. Oh, yeah. Same old story. A few little crabs there. We've got three big, big uh, lobsters, though. Pretty good, eh? Lovely. Right. Deployment. There you go, guys. Look at those. That's Dan's two biggest of the day. Aye, aye. Some lovely lobsters. Lovely, solid lobsters as well. That's the ones you want. This one's in a couple of millimeters. This shows how big these ones are. Yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, one little brown crab there. Overall, that's not bad for 18 pots. No, 14. 14, there you go. 14 pots. Happy days. We've now dug bait, guys. We've got a big bucket full of nice blow lug. And we've got a lot of them as well. So what I've got on is a pulley rig. With a, with a single 3 0 long shank hook it's a worm hook so it holds the bait on a little bit so i'm gonna have two rods out today hopefully we can catch the guilties it's my little pulley rig i'm using a two ounce weight on a spin rod really light tackle because gilt heads grow really big in the in guernsey so uh if i catch a 10 pounder i want to have a hell of a fight on it and there you go big log worm baits it's about six seven log worm on a hook and that's how we're fishing today. Gives us a little bit longer for the crabs to eat it. So it'll fish for a little bit longer and get more scent out there and hopefully we'll catch a big old gilt head. Oh well, first fish of the day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hasn't taken long. Little rass. Yeah, little baby thing. Lovely peaceful night tonight. Not much wind this side of the island. Dano's over there. So we're spreading out the corner of these rocks. Hopefully we can come into some fish. Quite a few bites, but only a little rass to start with. Yeah. <laughs> we got a rass. Had a few taps then and just struck it. Turns out to be a rass. I was hoping for a guilty, but I'll take that. Pretty little, it's a really pretty little fish that one. 
Look at that, little camo wrath. Hopefully the guilt head starts showing up. And Glorious is in. What the heck? We moved off the beach because we got washed off the rocks. Do you reckon a little basil? Maybe. Maybe a, a last minute rasp before the sun goes down? Well, it's not big, whatever it is. Should be coming through, where is it? There we go. What is it? It's a gilt. It's, it's a bream. bream. It's a nice black bream. Happy days. Not bad little black bream at all. Well, that was unexpected. Yeah. Happy days, mate. That's a nice one, that chunky. Beauty. Look at that, guys. Lovely black bream. It's a lovely well done, mate. Blackie. You booty. Yeah, First yeah. fish. Definitely a good eating fish, that one. Black bream. Have it for a catch and cook if you want. Don't you want it? Okay, we'll have that for a catch and cook. We'll add that to our brown crab. I won't say no to a nice juicy black bream like that. Fish on, guys. It's not fighting much. I reckon, it, I reckon this is a bass. I reckon it's a black bream again. What could be that? Slam my rod over, I dropped the bait, just let it sit for a second and it came back and nailed it. You What's... want the guilt though. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice to see a little guilty. It's not a huge fish, whatever it is. A nice sea fish. What is that? Oh, it's a red mullet. I like red mullet. Oh, hey! Red mullet. <laughs> Catch them cook, baby! That's not a bad red mullet at all. That's a lovely fat one, eh? Beauty. <laughs> That is what we came for tonight. That is my favorite eating fish in the sea, that. You beauty, lovely red mullet. All right, no wasting time, mate. Let's get back out there. Lovely red mullet. Look at that. We've now got a brown crab, thanks to Inglorious, a black bream, and now a beautiful red mullet to cook up. You're eating well tonight, my boy. You beauty. So I changed to a size one hook. Just because the black bream are around, so I thought I'd give I thought I'd give it a go. And we've ended up with a lovely red mullet. Beauties. So that's all the bait we're doing. Putting it on the hook, threading it down into a big chunky cocktail, and launching it out there. Fish on here, guys. Really weird bites. It's almost like it was a whip and then it started going over so I nailed it. Hope it's not a whip mate. <laughs> and it is. And it is. Called it. <laughs> Little conga whip. Beauty. Let's get that back. Kind of funny fishing, you come out for a different species like we came out for the bass and gilt heads, you end up with a nice red mullet and a bream. <laughs> that ras took the uh, hook really deep so he kept it for pot bait. Lovely little feed this is going to be. Yeah, oh look, white rag. Oh yeah, that's what he's been eating. Definitely white rag. Crabs, rag, crab, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Beautiful. I accidentally chopped the bucket in. Fish are going to have a right feed on that. Loads of log worm there. Right. That's the end of that trip, guys. Had a nice day out doing some pots with Inglorious. Then we dug some bait. And we got a nice snack. Got a lovely black bream there. And a really nice red mullet. Look how thick that is along the back. Yeah, nice fillets on that. Big shout out to Inglorious Fishing. Oi, oi. If you want to check his channel out, guys, links in the in the description as always. Go give it a check out. Oh yeah. Beautiful red mullet fillets, lovely and pink. Look at you can see how thick these are. When you get a really big red mullet, like these can be like an inch thick. That's why I really like them. And this is that little black bream we had. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save a piece of the red mullet for my son, and then these three. We're gonna have some nice, delicious, crispy pita bread. I eat these quite often. So uh, what I'm gonna do is put these in the toaster, fry my fish so it's nice and crispy. And we'll have, it's almost like a, we've lost one. It's almost like a fish taco, but 
with a pita bread, it stays really crunchy and you can feel it more. Got flour there. Lots of black pepper. A nice amount of sea salt. We are good to go. Let's get it all mixed in together. And this will create a nice little crispy batter on the fish. Dries it out nicely, but that crunch is what you want. As always, make a right mess of the kitchen. Nothing wrong with that. Look at those bad boys. Beautiful. Just a little something to go with this. A bit of fresh lemon, some lettuce. And as always, you can't forget the good old sweet chili sauce. Been trying this one a little bit lately. It's not bad that one. Can't wait to try this. I haven't had red mullet in ages. Look at that. So there's the bream. You can see the thickness in red mullet to bream. Look at that. And the skin goes really crispy. So what you're looking for guys, is you'll see where it's translucent and where it starts turning white. All you gotta do is watch that travel up a little bit, give it a flip, give it another minute and it's done. That lovely crispy skin on that fish. And there's the red mullet. Oh yeah. Lovely fish fry, baby. These bad boys are done. Look at that. Lovely fried fish right there. Delicious. These are ready as well. That's how I like them. Nice and crispy. Let's get this made up and devour them. <laughs> so guys, what I like to do with these, get a pair of scissors or a knife if you like. Just cut down like so. And these are extremely hot, so you've got to be careful. I like to open them up just like that and let them air out a little bit. Going in with a little glug of sweet chilli sauce. Beautiful. Beautiful. What I'm gonna do is get my lettuce in there. And you can fill these as much as you like. I like to fill them mostly with fish. There we go. Get that in there. And all that's left now is our delicious fried fish. So we've got our fish here guys. What I've got there, some fresh lemon, straight over the top. Oh yeah. What I'm gonna do, grab that straight out the pan, and straight into our pita bread. So we've got one red mullet, one, one fillet there. Fills that nicely, about half an inch of fish. <laughs> then what we got, Get a big bream fillet in that one, and that there is my tea sorted. Oh, that's hot! Get another piece in the top there. Got one bream and one red mullet pita bread, baby. Check that out for a delicious little snack. A delicious red mullet in there, lettuce, and the good old fateful sweet chili sauce. Oh, you know there's fish involved, eh, but yeah, you're listening now. But check that out, guys. Beautiful, crispy 
Chill. Red mullet, pit of bread. Mmm. Ooh, tasty fish. That is absolutely delicious. I love the crunch. I love crunchy food in general. But this pita bread goes so crunchy. And then you've got the soft, delicious fish in the middle. Mm. I love the firmness of red mullet. That's what the appeal is for me. You can fry it, you can put it in the oven, you can do all sorts with it. And it doesn't just fall apart. It's a great fish for frying. My stepson's just come in and had some bream as well and he really likes it, so looks like I'm not gonna be eating fish to myself for much longer. <laughs> hey Smash, could you like it too? Mmm. That really is so tasty. And to be honest, I wouldn't even put anything with that. It's just good as it is. Bit of lettuce, bit of sweet chili sauce, or even a bit of garlic mayo if you wanted to. Oh. Absolutely amazing. Lay down. Absolutely amazing. So I won't leave the video any longer, guys. I'm going to absolutely devour this with Smash. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. If you want any merch, the link's always in the description. Thanks very much for watching. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! Mmm. Mmm. Oh, good boy.